Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to part four of the beginner scratch course. In the last part, we were introduced to the scratch editor and how we can create code for our different sprites. In this episode, we're going to be continuing to work on code and learning how to build a program. Let's start by creating a new project by going to File, New. And now we get to start from scratch. The first thing we want to do is delete our only sprite by pressing this trash can button. So now you can see we have nothing in our stage and our game is empty. So let's add a sprite. Again, I can click here and choose a sprite from the library that the website has built. Let's use the beetle. And when I click it, it spawns into our game. So let's make it so that our beetle can be controlled by the arrow keys on our keyboard, like you might see in a game. So the first thing we need to do is start every script or a collection of blocks with a trigger. In the beetle, the trigger is going to be a key press. So let's go to events, drag in a when space key press, and change this from space to right arrow. So in order to make it move, let's go into the motion category and drag in move 10 steps. So now if I click the right arrow, you can see our beetle moves. Now let's do it for the left arrow as well. I can go back into events and drag in when left arrow is pressed. And you might guess that we can move 10 steps. But if we try this, we see that they do the same thing. And that's because the code under each trigger is the same. For the left arrow, we want it to point to the left. And for the right arrow, we want to point to the right. So let's add those respective blocks. So above the point 10 steps, because we want to point in direction before we move, let's drag in a point in direction. And I can click here, and I can drag to the right. And so that's 90. We want to drag in the same block above the move 10 steps for the left arrow. And this time we want to point the other way. So now if I click the green flag and I move, you can see that we point in the right direction and we move 10 steps. And now our beetle can be controlled by the right and left arrow keys. And I can even hold down. Let's do this for our up and our down. And so as you can see, I can just right click this and press duplicate. And for the first one, we're going to do up. And so you can guess we want to point in direction up by dragging this arrow. And the same for down. So click here and drag it down. Awesome. You now have a beetle that can be controlled with the arrow keys. We'll pick up in the next part by working more on this beetle and adding more cool features to our game. But for now, that's it. You've created a beetle that can be controlled by your arrow keys, and I think that's pretty awesome. Good job. I will see you all in part five.